The Jo Youth Council has described as insulting and unacceptable the River State Governor Yesam Wike's attack on the Jo ethnic nationality following the controversy over the arrest of a federal lawmaker, Farah Dagogo. There is more in this report. We are your national Congress, threatening government. You are wasting your time on the fire you and ultimate. Drawing reference from a training video, Governor Yesum Wike was seen using vulgar words on the Ijo National Congress and the Ijo Youth Council as regards the arrest of a federal lawmaker, Farah Dagogo, in River State. The IYC says such comments from the governor are unacceptable, inciting, and denigrating the high office he occupies. A man who is vying for the highest office in the country should not condescend to the level of using motorpark language in expressing his displeasure over an entire ethnic nationality. Statements from a governor like this is capable of rapturing the existing harmonious relationship that the Jaws and Equerries have in the River State. And so we have already stated our position. We have consulted the critical stakeholders and leaders of the entire Ejo nation, and we are expressing the views of our people that no Ejo man who is a member of his political party should give him one vote in his bid of becoming the president of this country. The body recounts how natives of Ejo extraction had worked for Governor Yesum Wike during the 2015 and 2019 governorship elections in the state. You made that kind of statement without even having a back of what former president Good Luck Jonathan did for you, what his wife, then President Jonathan, who is also an adjoined woman, did for you? Was it not a joy youth who paid the supreme price at Abonima? Over 18 a joy youths died in a bid of resisting the federal minds that wanted to topple Governor Yosun Wike. The least we expect from Governor Wike is to insult us to that level. He has benefited so much from a joy nation. And he does not have whatever justifiable reason to speak to us in that despicable manner. It is not the first time that the IYC has voiced out about the perceived marginalization of the Jaws in River State. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, Yanagua.